Welcome to another episode of Yard Envy. If you want to learn how to grow a beautiful yard, make your neighbors have yard envy and all types of grass related stuff, go ahead and start today by clicking subscribe and clicking that bell notification so that you get notified every time I put out a video. And today we're going to talk about lowering your height of cut. Right now, uh, I've got the grass mowed down to like three on my push mower. We've also, we've got to make sure that we stay inside the one third rule. And that is not cutting off more than one third of the blade at, the time, at a time. So what I'm doing is every day I'm mowing it on one notch lower each time. So today we're going to mow it on two. I'm going to start getting this height of cut down and mow it lower so it grows in thicker. So, let's get it mowed on two, and uh, get this height of cut lowered. the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my day, no matter what anyone does or say. I smile at blues. No, I don't care, because I am on my way up, and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Standing on my feet, I'm going to rise. All right, so the first cut was on three. The second cut, which you just finished washing, was on two. I skipped a day in between. Today, we're going to cut on one. I'm going to show you a little trick that I actually learned from Connor Ward. These mowers only get down so low. So, what I'm going to do is, I got two washers here. We'll put in between the blade and the shaft, which is going to give us another, I don't know, quarter inch almost of cut. There you go, just like that. Once you put those washers in there, it creates a space which lowers the blade exactly how thick those washers are, so. Okay, so you can kind of see here, my height of cut, if I put my finger all the way to the dirt, it's about right there. So we're looking at about one inch. I can't find my measuring tape. So we're gonna go by fingers. I think everybody has fingers. So with our little washer trick, we're gonna be cutting at about three quarters of an inch. So I think we're staying within the one third rule. So let's put it on two and start chopping it down. All right, so I made a few trim passes and I don't know if you can tell it or not. There's a little bit of scalping going on. And uh, I kind of expected the scalping but see here's the deal whenever you're overseeding Bermuda with perennial ryegrass the Bermuda that's underneath has died or basically gone dormant it's gone dormant leaving brown grass which you see in most people's yards so we've got to cut this low enough to get that brown dead grass out of there and we've got to try to train this perennial ryegrass to be mowed low if you want to cut it low which i do with that being said we got to get all this cut down as low as we want it and it's going to look worse before it looks better so we had a nice lush thick tall green yard but now it's fixing to get short it's going to be yellow it's going to be scalped but we're going to get all that dead grass out of there and we got to cut the blade down so that it can green up. In fact, I'm gonna get a piece of grass and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, what you're looking at here is a fully mature perennial ryegrass. Uh, this is an ink pen to give you an idea in size. So I'd say from the tip all the way to the roots is about three and a half, four inches. Okay, my goal is to cut this at half about a half inch so right about here okay so with this grass if you let it grow and it will tiller out which means these pieces here each little piece of grass coming off the stem this is tillering it will tiller out way up here way up the stalk but if you start lowering that height of cut and you start cutting it down it has to develop leaf blades at a lower height therefore giving you thicker greener grass at lower heights I got another piece here that's been cut and trained a little bit 
to give you an example. This piece has been cut a few times and it's trained to tiller out at a lower height. Therefore, this right here, this yellowish white, when you cut your grass too short, that's what you're seeing. You've cut everything from here up off and you see this yellow and white. That's why it looks so bad or it looks scout. But see, I can cut this at a half inch and I've got one, two, three blades from this one plant at a half inch. Where if I cut this one off at a half inch, I have no leaf blades. So that's why you have to train your grass to be cut low. You have to cut it low and cut it regular and train it to tiller out at lower heights just like this. So that's why you want to lower your height of cut and why it looks bad whenever it gets scalped or it's cut too low. Once the whole thing's done, you're going to be able to see those little scalped areas where it was kind of cut low. But that's the nature of the beast. I think that's going to look good as far as the height that we want to cut it at. So let's do it. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my day. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at booze. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Standing on my feet, I'm going to rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. Because mm -hmm. I know what it's like to be broke. Okay, today we're continuing our journey on our lowering our height of cut. Today we're going to cut it on one on the mower, which is actually zero, if there's such a setting. But uh, so today, going to zero. You know, I always cut north or south, the east or west. Today I'm actually thinking we're going to do a diagonal cut. I've actually never done a diagonal cut. So, let's give it a shot and see what happens. Everything's about to come my way And I don't care if you spill coffee on me Or if the sky is gray or blue No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Standing on my feet I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop It is my time Alright, so we got our mow down on zero now Got our uh, how to cut down. Uh, pretty dang low. A lot of scalping actually going on. I don't know if you can tell it on camera. But I don't even have a striper on my mower and I'm getting some pretty good stripes. But uh, I'll turn the camera around. We'll take a good look at the uh, how to cut. All right, you can see here, we still got a lot of green blades left. And uh, if you remember, we measured with our finger. So you can see a big difference. Uh, we're looking at probably half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch, more like three quarters. But uh, you can see it's starting to turfen up. I don't even know if that's a word, turfen. It is now, turfen up. It's starting to turfen up. Instead of looking like long grass, it's starting to look like some turf. But like I said, uh, getting it cut down this low, it's really, uh, it's really gonna make a, a thicker, a thicker yard. Because, like I said before in the explanation, these leaves, these leaves on the uh, blades of grass are gonna start branching out at a lower height. Instead of trying to get way up here and compete with each other for sunlight. They're gonna stay down low, and we'll keep cutting it low, and we'll keep cutting it often. You cut it low, you cut it often, and your grass will look like turf and it will thicken up and be really green and really healthy uh, and having a thick low uh, yard like that can also help you defeat against like weeds and and stuff like that so uh, that's about it because i know what it's like to be broke 